Is there anything you can't do? Well, I'm like you. I know good talent when I see it. So if I want to offer him a deal, who do I talk to, you or him? Well, first things first. Let's take a listen to your new star. What's up, world? It's your boy, Blockzilla. I got a special guest here in the No Judgment Zone, the lovely Reagan Gomez. Hi, how y'all doing? How you been? I'm good. How you been? I've been great. All right. Now you going to front, like... Me and her have been Twitter friends yes. for the longest. She started to follow me one day, I followed back. I think it might have been after a phone or interview or something. It might have been, but we've been Twitter friends for a while, for, for a few a, years for now. For a few years. She yeah. was like, you, you cut your dreads. I was like, I did. <laughs> so you and your Twitter, your Twitter persona is great. You're very interactive. You're very personable. Yes. What made you decide to just say, hey, I'm going to be myself. I'm not going to be so guarded. Well, um, I was on MySpace first. That was my first like social media thing. That's how I started my yeah. job. Too, my oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, but when I had my daughter just checking the messages, it was too much. Um, and around 2009, I started hearing about something called Twitter. And I was like, what is this? So it took me a minute to kind of figure out what exactly to do. Um, and it was great. And everyone's always like, you're so real. You're so personable. But I'm like, that's that's who I am in real life. Like, that's, that's me. Like, I'm I'm trying to figure out what to cook for dinner. I'm trying to figure out what to make, you know, how to do my daughter's hair and all kind of regular stuff that people go through. So, I mean, it's it's crazy when people say you're so, you're just like me. I, I am just like you. You've been in the public eye for such a long, long yeah. time. Like, what has that been like for you? Like, when people see you, do they call you by your real name? Do they call you? They call me Zaria. They all still the time. call me. Well, I, plus I still look exactly the you same way exactly I did when I was on the show. I still sound the same way. People call me Zaria, um, and it, it's it's fine because that's where I started. That's how people know me. And even though I've been working since then, I mean, I was on TV for five years as Zaria, so mm -hmm. I'll always be Zaria until I get something that lasts longer than that. And what was it like doing voiceover work? Because you were on a Cleveland show too. Yeah, I was on the Cleveland show for four years. And it was great because people always tell me either they recognize my face or it's my voice that they recognize. So when I was pregnant with my daughter, I was like, you know, what can I do while I'm pregnant? And the voiceover thing, it was just an idea that I had. And the Cleveland show was like the second or third audition I had. And I wound up booking it. So I got lucky and it was great. What was going to work for the Cleveland show like? Because it was so easy. Yeah. It was the easiest thing. And I got the Cleveland show when my daughter was 18 months. My son is two. So I had him on the show. Um, you go in for a table read and that's like an hour. Then you leave. Then you come back the following week and record your specific lines. Some shows record as an ensemble with all the cat all the cast but we just did our specific lines so depending on how many lines you had in that episode if you had two lines or you know 20 a long day was like 20 minutes recording you record your episode and then you out oh wow so it was great i awesome. spent so much time with my kids so it was great and now you are on a show called love that girl love that girl and yes. you're with uh brisha webb who's yes. huge That's on the web movie. yes and she yes. is hilarious the yes. show looks wild and crazy yes, yes. what is that experience been like um, well, this is the, their fourth season, so I'm new to the show this season. Um, myself and Huggy, Huggy Lowdown, who is off of the Tom Joyner Morning Show. Um, and it's been great. Um, Brisha, that's my boo, she is amazing on the show. Phil Morris and Alfonso McCauley, I was just doing press with them earlier. Um, and it's really been great, especially because, you know, I come from the sitcom world, and nowadays there aren't really a lot of black mm -hmm. sitcoms out there, so this is just like going home for me. Yeah. It really is. It's been great. We got to deal with that hate. Yeah, but it's was it really hate because you got to take it for what it is i mean it twitter is for entertainment and when you talking about black twitter i'm a proud member of black twitter i didn't even realize i was on black twitter until i started knowing what black twitter famous people were doing like you don't know these but they're famous on twitter mm -hmm. that's what i knew i was really you know so and they black twitter trash my gumbo but it's all good you know it's a love hate black, relationship black twitter is the illuminati it's i like, tell you listen black twitter gets stuff done black twitter we we let paula dean know about herself that that juror from they the let, trayvon martin case that was about to do that book we shut that down they let you know Russell what i mean know about himself yes yeah he 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 learned a lesson that day but this is the no judgment zone right we're, we're not gonna judge you Russell, no so we're, we're not, gonna go we're not cause you learned, you learned but we're gonna go back so we do this game it's no judgment zone mm -hmm. got some pretty embarrassing questions they're actually a little weak i need to step them up a little bit because okay. my producer back there phil producer telling me that they're weak questions well we'll see you pick them then we'll see so picking them everyone know how this game plays if you don't you need to have a childhood in life uh pick a number four to four two one two Blue. B L U E. Black. When was a time when you broke your mother's heart? 
Oh Lord, Eva. When I broke my mother's heart. Um. Oh God, the time when I broke my mother's heart. I don't know. I was a pretty good kid. I would say maybe when I got married. Even though she adores my husband, but just the fact I was married at 19. So just the fact that I got married so young and kind of started. I didn't start my family young, but left her house and got my own place so young probably then it was a love-hate thing she loves my husband but she was sad to see me go I guess mm. now you two were like the hottest people in the game at the time you guys met I remember seeing him I didn't I remember just seeing him from the um was it Tommy Hilfiger yeah. ads Mm -hmm. And was it Tommy Hilfiger ad? Someone was, it was a famous person. Was it Aaliyah? Ty, well, T Aaliyah did him, but he was in the ad with Tyrese. Tyrese. He was him and Tyrese in the same so ad. I remember those ads, and I remember you being on the Parenthood yeah. and everything. And when I heard them, I was like, oh, lucky guy. <laughs> and um, so what was that, what was that time, what was 19, what was age 19 like for you? I mean, all of the 90s really when we met to when we got married it was it was just a really great time i was doing my thing he was doing his thing he was i remember from my sweet 16 he called me from was it london was it london he called me from london he was in london doing a photo shoot uh, for versace and he called me wished me happy birthday um and it was really uh it was really a great time obviously this was before the blogs and mm -hmm. and all that which was probably Good that there weren't no blogs back then. Yeah, to um, read it and like the source. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a good time, and even for young black Hollywood in general, like we really had like a crew, even if we didn't hang out with these people, you know. Who was the crew? I mean, it was, uh, if you, it was Brandy, Wesley Jonathan, Jason Weaver, me, my husband, anybody that was like under the age of 21 who was black and in Hollywood and, and who had done films or TV, like we all knew each other. That's why I have a special place in my heart for people now who are still working that I know from back then, like Brandy and Wesley and Jason Weaver and you know, who else. Yeah. Um, but it was, it was a really great time. And I remember when we were, when we got married, the album we listened to, going to get married and coming from getting married, was uh, The Chronic by Dr. Dre. <laughs> that was like, you know. So, the yeah, Chronic was yeah, shit. yeah, it was, a, yeah, it, was a, it was a great time. Another episode of the No Judgment Zone. Be sure to check out Love That Girl on TV One. And check us out next week. It's your boy Blogzilla, Reagan Gomez. Bye. We out. Hi, this is Reagan Gomez from the new season of TV One's Love That Girl, and you are watching Global Grind TV. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube, Reagan Gomez, and follow me on Twitter, Reagan Gomez. Bye. It's always liquor in here. It ain't no liquor. Don't be fooled. Send some liquor in here. I'm not drinking that. That's Who would it be? Oh, that was so <laughs> That's the best question ever. That question is, without a doubt, the best question ever.